Hello, this is Richard Perry, and we're going to talk about the rapture and the tribulation. Will the rapture be before the tribulation or not? When Christ was asked by his disciples about the time of the end and his return, he said, Be on your guard. I have told you everything ahead of time. The time of the end has come. It will be less than 70 years. It has a beginning and an end. In Matthew 24, Mark 13, Luke 21, Christ described the time of the end as starting with the beginning of birth pains and ending after the Great Tribulation. According to Christ, everything we need to know can be found in Scripture. The Bible also says we can read and understand his word. 2 Corinthians says we do not write you anything you cannot read or understand. One more thing before I present you the scriptures about the second coming and the rapture, gathering of God's people. God says, do not go beyond what is written. Therefore, I will propose a question and present scripture to answer the question without going beyond what is written. I will, however, underline key words in the scripture. It will be up to you to draw your conclusion. I will present mine at the end. Rapture, before or the tribulation or not. When does God say that he will gather, rapture his people, before the tribulation or not? Christ said, after the tribulation of those days, they will see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of the sky with great power and glory. And he will send his angels with a loud trumpet call. and They will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of the heavens to the other after the tribulation. According to the first rapture passage, when does the rapture, catching up of God's people, take place? 1 Thessalonians 4, 16-17 For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with the loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and left will be caught up, raptured together, with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. When does Christ come down from heaven? When does Christ come down from heaven? Acts 3.21 says he must remain in heaven until the time comes for God to restore everything. Acts 2.34 says, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. According to the number two rapture passage, when does the rapture, the resurrection change of God's people, take place? 1 Corinthians 15, 51 through 52. Listen, I tell you a mystery. We'll not all sleep, but we'll all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable and we will be changed. When in scripture is the last trumpet? Revelation 10.7 says, When the seventh angel is about to sound his trumpet, the mystery of God will be accomplished, just as he announced to his servants, the prophets. Revelation 11.15-17 says, The seventh angel sounded his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven which said, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. You have taken your great power, and you have begun to reign. At the seventh trumpet, Christ begins to reign. So when does God say that he will gather and change his people? Before the tribulation or not? What do you believe that God is saying? Oh yes, I said I would tell you what I believe. I believe Christ will come down from heaven after the tribulation, restore everything, and put his enemies under his feet at the time of the seventh and last trumpet when Christ begins his reign on earth. But don't forget, Christ said, 
Be on your guard. I have told you everything ahead of time. Therefore, keep watch.